They're drilling. Um, you can see the rod spinning. They've probably got about another meter and a half before that run is finished, at which point they'll pull out uh, and unload the, the, the tube like you saw before. So that, the, the banging there was because the rock gets stuck? In the, uh, yeah, in the tube? That, yeah. That, that's right. It doesn't always slide easily out of the, the inner tube. So sometimes it uses need a little bit of force. So all those trays we saw back at the core shed, the the in the on the pallet, uh, they come in they, here, they're loading it up with core. Yeah. Now you take it back to the core shed. That's right. That's where it all comes from. So when you take it back to the core shed, what happens next with the core? Ah, uh, so we we meet a market, so we know where every meter is. Every one meter. Yep. We yep. we log it, uh, and then anything interesting, we'll send, we'll cut and sample and send away for assay. Now I noticed on the core there's like a crayon marker down the side. What's that for? Uh, so that's an orientation line. What that tells us is the bottom of hole. So if you can imagine the drill rods are sticking in the ground like this. That line is on the underside of the uh, core. So would I be correct in saying when you go to do your geo interpretation it actually helps you reconstruct yeah, the... Yeah, it gives us a reference point to measure which way various structures are going, stuff like bedding, uh, faults, those sorts of things. Yeah, so how do they do that? Just literally with a crayon, or how do they actually get that line on there? Uh, these guys, they've got a, a, an electronic tool that they use to put a mark, then back at the core shed, we put the whole line on. Got it.